Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram as El Ducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up on your way out today. Well, I'm back with another ship with me video. So I've already gone ahead and pulled all of my shipping. We've got a lot of shipping to do today and I wanna get as much of this filmed for you as possible. So most of my packages are going out on Poshmark and eBay today. I do have a couple of Tradesy sales and one Kitizen sale. Um, I do sell on pretty much every platform you can think of. And so, yeah, that's why I have a lot of different places to ship to. I did a couple of our packages last night. So those are already in the bin. There's only about, I don't know, four or five of them. And some more orders may come through while we're shipping, but I may or may not package those up uh, on camera with you today. I did about $1,300 in sales since, including those packages, I think it was about three o'clock yesterday. So definitely a great day across all platforms. But yeah, now we gotta ship out. First things first, I, <clears throat> like I said, I already pulled all of these and I printed out all of my labels. So on the top half here, as you can't see, is the customer's label. And on the bottom half is the packaging slip. I don't usually put that in there for the customer because they already know what they're getting, but it's good to print out if you wanna like run around and grab all of your inventory beforehand. You can batch print labels on Poshmark. You're just gonna go into your sales, hit the drop down box, click download shipping labels, and it will batch send all of the labels that you want to you. You can then print them out in one big happy stream. And in terms of the packaging slip, how do you get that? That's gonna be under settings, under shipping, and you're just gonna turn on, toggle on the little button that says packaging slip. So there's that for anybody who has questions. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the Poshmark ones first because those are taking up a lot of the room and I can't really print anything else out. Um, this is my shipping area for those of you who might be new here. It doesn't look usually this crazy. It just looks crazy right now because <clears throat> everything is on the countertop. We do use these reusable bags. Um, on the front here, it does have the bin number and then the item number. So once we pull this from inventory, we'll just take it out, set it to the side, and it will get reused again for the next garment. All right, so the first item, this was actually a liquidation item, and it is the brand Sweet Romeo. It is new with tags, and I've been sending out a lot of offers because I've been trying to <clears throat> clear out old inventory. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> this sold for $10. I'm trying to say it without coughing. I've got that little stupid cough back. I know. I can't, ca I can't catch a break, guys. If you've been a viewer of my channel, you'll be like, oh my gosh, she's coughing again. So I like to use these Tyvek bags from the post office. These are free and it's basically their equivalent of a poly mailer. Poly mailer. And why wouldn't I use these? They're free. They're super sturdy. Tyvek is like a woven material fabric. Anyways, it's super great and um, they have like a little sticky thing so you just rip it off. You don't have to put any tape, do anything to it. And then I just fold them over like so fold over it makes it a little bit smaller so can everything can fit in my bin nicely you can order those free from the post office if you're not familiar with that you just go to usps.com okay next item <clears throat> excuse me is a fjall raven wool sweater this brand is spelled f-j-a-l-l fjall raven i'm pretty sure i'm pronouncing that correctly and it's a wool sweater this sold for $24 and I've had it for a little while. So again, I'm guessing this sold from offers to likers. I sell a lot of my items from offers to likers. Uh, people want a deal. So I price my stuff to have a deal built into it or room to always, where did I put that? Ooh, be always offering a deal. And I don't know, maybe I recommend you do that also. It works for me, but <clears throat> maybe you just like to set your price. I think so So many people are used to negotiating, so that's why I would always just add a couple extra dollars because then you get, everybody gets to feel like they got a good deal, right? Because you can offer them a couple dollars off. Okay, next item, <clears throat> I'm gonna grab some tissue paper here. All right, so the next item is a 3.1 Philip Lim dress. This sold for $80. I don't tissue everything, but you know, a little bit nicer of a sale, I will use the tissue. Um, for the most part, I just in general, 
I don't use tissue paper and it's just because it's kind of a waste in my opinion, but that's just how I feel and run my business. So I will use it sometimes, generally just on higher dollar purchases. The best thing I like to offer my customers is fast shipping, which again, if you are not new to my channel, you've heard me say that. It's just the number one thing that I pride myself on is being able to get items out daily sometimes same day, right? If the customer orders it in time, because they, they value that and we value it, right? I love getting stuff quickly. My customers love getting stuff quickly and that's what's going to have people coming back and returning to your store. Here's my little sticker that I put on here. Thank you for supporting my small business. Put that on there and in the box it goes. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. Okay. Next item is, it's funny, I have so much counter space and yet it feels like I have no counter space. I think I need to clean a couple of things off of here. Okay, next item is another sweater. This is a Smart Wool sweater that sold for $27. Smart Wool is one of those brands that you may have heard me talk about. I love selling it. There's, I think, just certain brands that we all love selling because it's just kind of a sure thing for us. This one, like I said, sold for $27 and I listed it just this past week. So it wasn't up for long before somebody bought it. In the same vein as Smart Wolf, I would say that Ibex is another brand that I love to sell just because people love their wool brands. <clears throat> and it's definitely that time of the year for those types of items, that, types of, that type of fabric, etc. Hmm, this one sold just this morning. It is uh, the brand Adeline Ray. It's a jumpsuit and yeah, it sold for $17. I've had it listed for about a week, week and a half maybe. <clears throat> yeah, customer asked, I'm like thinking in my head, the customer asked a question about it this morning about the closure on it. They wanted to know where the zipper was located. And it's a hidden zipper on the back. So I answered the question. And then, you know, sometimes when you answer a question, it's just like, you never hear any, <laughs> you never hear anything back about it. Um, they bought it like within like a minute after I said that. So right. <laughs> go answer some questions today, I guess. Okay. Next item is the brand Rachel Pally. And this is a maternity gingham print jumpsuit. There it is. I'm just going to refold it real quick. This sold for $30 and I've had it for a little while. Looks like it's been, we photographed it back in May and it probably got listed not too long after that. So we are happy to see it go to a new home. And hold that up. So the reason I use these Tyvek mailers as opposed to boxes, because you might be thinking, boxes are free too. Why don't you use those? Um, and the reason why is that oftentimes I have gotten requests from customers to use soft packaging um, because not everybody lives in a house where they, or they, not everybody's place that they receive packages is secure and can accommodate a box because boxes are big, right? Um, however, soft packaging like this can kind of be folded and squished and all that sort of stuff into a mailbox for somebody. And instead of having to wait maybe the next day or until Monday when the manager's office and the building is open, whatever the case is, it doesn't, it basically takes away that barrier for them to get their stuff. So yeah. All right. Next item is a pair of Juicy Couture velour pants and these I've had for a little while, since February. Um, they just sold for $15. And I was kind of curious when it sold, I was thinking, now they definitely could be back on trend because it's, you know, when I think of Juicy Couture jumpsuits, I think of the early aughts. Uh, that's when I owned a pair. That's when Paris Hilton was wearing them. And the super low rise ones, if you know, you know. So anyways, I was thinking maybe somebody's using this 
oh, they, they could be buying it because Y2K is on trend or also as a Halloween costume. I think I saw on Instagram or TikTok or somewhere that the spirit store is selling a Y2K costume that has velour pants. So there, there you go. Um, okay, I think that might be the end of our Poshmark shipping. And now we have eBay shipping. So I'm gonna move all of these bags over here so I can get into my area. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna need to move that. <laughs> I don't need to block my printer. Okay, we'll put that there and then I guess I'll just grab more tissue. So for the eBay shipping, I am, <clears throat> what was I gonna say? I'm just gonna use poly mailers for this. I'm not gonna use the Tyvek mailers. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. Join me, why don't you? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I'm gonna use poly mailers for this. I keep them down below here where you cannot see. I'm gonna grab a couple of different sizes out. Probably not all the sizes that I need, but this is just what I can grab in this moment. Mm, that one's too big. I need a smaller size. I'll grab these fun ones. I have, I don't even know what they say. Love, I think, in a bunch of different languages. These are my 10 by 13s. 13 by 15, I think is this one. This one's a six by nine. There's a million different sizes of poly mailers that you can use. I'm putting my hair back. <laughs> I always like to start with my hair down because anybody who hasn't watched a video of mine in a while will be like, your hair's so long. There we go. Um, so I like to have a variety of different poly mailers on hand at all times. First item let's start with is the one that just sold a few minutes ago and it's a Tory Burch dress. <clears throat> this one I think I've had for a little while. Yeah, this one I've had since January. It did sell for $55. I'm just gonna set that there for now. And although we do weigh our items beforehand, I just, it's habit and I like to weigh items again just to make sure we get the correct amount in here. So this is gonna be nine ounces and we're gonna send it first class mail in the poly mail. And thankfully my internet is going faster. It was going really slow yesterday and today and I kept switching back and forth because this building is like a big cement block. Um, I kept switching back and forth between my Wi-Fi extenders and uh, it wasn't working or I didn't feel like it was working. And finally today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the old on off reset and just see if that works. So I turned the computer off or I restarted it and I turned it back on. And what do you know guys? It's working faster now. So if you're having internet problems today, take uh, that little tip from me and just turn it on and off. Okay, the next item that I have are these Wacol brand. I'm sure you, if you know, you know. Um, thigh Shaper High Waist Sand, et cetera, et cetera, is the name of it. Let's see if I have a small piece of tissue. Mm, those ones are kind of big. Let me see, I have smaller ones here. Again, just like I have all sizes of poly mailers, I do have a couple different sizes of tissue as well. And I do buy my tissue on Amazon, but another good place to buy that I know people buy from, especially during the holidays, so that would be kind of coming up on now, is Costco. And I feel like this time of the year they have it on sale. You can usually get like a pretty thick, large pack for a good price. Okay, so this is three ounces and it's gonna go first class mail. And purchase label. So yeah, definitely check Costco for business supplies. I have bought so many, or I've purchased so many business supplies from Costco through the years for my business. And a lot of, a lot of times they will be the cheaper option, especially for tape, clear tape like this. <clears throat> so again, if you've seen any of my videos, Ship With Me videos before, you know that I have the water activated tape, but then I also use this 3M heavy duty tape, which you can get at Costco. Or I also have the eBay tape that you can get with your, um, <coughs> excuse me, qu quarterly shipping surprise. 
that you can get with your quarterly shipping supplies credit on eBay. So if you have a store that is above whatever the lowest store is, which I believe it's called, it's either basic or starter. I can't remember off the top of my head, whichever one is the cheapest. And you know, you know, <laughs> if you have it, you know, you pay like five bucks a month or something. You don't get a coupon with that store. Every other store gets a coupon every quarter. So they are use it or lose it. So use them. You're going to go under the marketing tab and go to subscriber discounts. There you will see eBay shipping supplies with your coupon code. So go order your stuff. Okay, next we have, I hit some auctions end. So again, some lower priced items. I don't know if this one was actually an auction. The brand is Vita and it is a lovely knit sheath dress. Okay, so this one's over a pound. So I'm gonna put it actually into uh, a flat rate mailer. <clears throat> so I have these flat rate envelopes and I'm actually gonna use I'm going to put it, <laughs> I'm going to put the dress into a poly. So this is a 10 by 13, I think it's the size of this one, 10 by 13 poly and then I'm going to put it into, ah, I hate these things. Okay, let me dispose of that there. Then I'm going to put it in this flat rate envelope. So this flat rate envelope does cost less then the padded flat rate envelope. The difference is, what is it? Mm, less than a dollar, but it's about 80 cents. So anyways, just keeps your costs a little bit lower. I'm gonna put the tabs down, <clears throat> fold it down. Your flat rate envelopes can be 3D, it is okay. And then I will add a little layer of protective tape to the top of the package so that the seal does not break. Okay, flat rate envelope, purchase shipping label. The padded flat rate envelope looks like this. And every year the post office starts some sort of rumor, somebody starts a rumor that these are going to be taken away because they have these, this padding in there and often these envelopes are misused. People use them for, uh, you know, as like shipping materials. So they don't even ship with them. They just cut them open and use them as shipping materials or any other ways <clears throat> that you could possibly abuse it that I'm not aware of. But, so anyways, I try and treasure them. I only use them for special occasions or just when they're needed. Honestly, it's just when they're needed and that that was not a reason that was needed. So we'll go on to our next item here. What do I want to do? Uh, that's a tricky one. How about this one? This is, oh, this is the brand Alexis and this dress sold for $58. Oh, how long have I had it? <clears throat> I have had this since June. Early June, so I'm gonna wrap it up in a little bit of tissue paper. I always think it's fun when people have in their addresses, I'm looking at this person's address right now, it says front porch. Or have, like, have you ever seen it? Do you know what I'm talking about? Or it'll say like back door or downstairs unit or something like that. It'll be like super specific. I don't know why, I just think it sounds so, so cute, like front porch. I don't know. I, I know it's because there's probably other residents in the building that they're inhabiting. <clears throat> and so it's just to give the carrier instructions, but it just sounds so cute. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Yes, that's correct. All right, print label. Dun, dun, dun. Done. Today I have somebody coming in to train, so I just hired somebody. And so, that's why I'm kind of moving a little bit quicker today because I'm starting shipping a little bit later, also that. And so I need to make sure that by the time they get here, I am ready to go and be available for them. Okay, QQ15. Okay, this is an Elizabeth and James dress. It sold for $45. So this one I actually might put in the bubble mailer. I mean, I know it's over a pound, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna put this one in the bubble mailer. 
because I just think the way it is folded up, it's a little heavier, it's a little bulkier, it's a heavier knit of fabric. And I think it'll fit nicely in here. Okay, we will mark that padded flat rate envelope and purchase label. So there you go, you got to see an instance of where I use it. Okay, close that up. Go back to orders. And how many do I have left? Nine packages left. We're breezing right through this, guys. I don't even know how many, but there was to start. 30, 40, maybe? Uh, 00917, what are you? These are a pair of Josie by Notori crepe crop pants. These we have had since mid-July. And what else? These sold for mm, just about 30 bucks, $29.25. Okay, adjust my weight on the scale here. First class package. This one is going to New York. I'd love to be able to see like a breakdown of where like <laughs> over the course of my reselling career, where have all my packages gone? I don't know that it's like totally useful information for me because I wouldn't source according necessarily to where the bulk of my customers live. Because I just like picking up whatever I like picking up and then people buy it. But I, I would be curious if I had to guess, it's probably California and New York is where I imagine because that's where a lot of people live. So I'm guessing that's where most of my customers are. Okay, next item is a Hannah Anderson twirl power rainbow dress, super cute. It's a size 10, not sure why I'm telling you that. And I listed this at the beginning of August and it sold for $13.50. Not a huge sale, but I do like picking up Hannah Anderson or just kids brands that I'm comfortable and familiar with that have a, you know, a good sell through rate and don't, <clears throat> excuse me, don't cost me a lot from the Goodwill outlet. So those are the ones that I grab. There's not, yeah, there's not a ton of rhyme or reason. Like I'm not looking to pick them up because they cost a lot in stores. It's honestly what I'm familiar with, it, which is I think how a lot of people start off when they begin reselling is you're gonna buy brands that you are comfortable with. Okay, this I've had since the beginning of July and it is the brand ALC just this cute little lemon colored top. I'm pretty sure there's a flaw to it. And so I let it go for quite a bit less. It sold for $12 and it's gonna go up priority mail to California, Los Angeles to be specific. <clears throat> so I do sell flawed items in my store. If you're not again familiar with my channel, hello, welcome. Uh, I do sell flawed items and it's a personal preference to do so. Not everybody likes to sell flawed inventory, but where am I going to put this? A new bin. New bin. Um, but I don't mind doing so because I, I just, I'm comfortable and I have experience with it. But if you have hesitations about working with it, don't do it if it's not for you. <laughs> that feels obvious, but... You know, you just have to be, you know, as, as transparent as possible with your customers about any possible flaws on the item. And some, you know, for some people that's maybe just more than they wanna have to deal with. Um, but I don't mind. And I also don't mind if we have to do repairs to an item. Where is this going anyway? Okay, Chicago. Was that the best option? You know what? I might cancel the label. I was gonna send it priority, but hold on. Let's go to, let's go back. I'm gonna open pirate ship a second <clears throat> because I wanna know if parcel select might be cheaper. So I use pirateship.com as an alternative when I'm shipping and I'm just gonna look, uh, where's my address? 
I'm gonna copy the buyer's address, go into Pirate Ship. It's free to create account. I'm not being paid to tell you about this. It's just a really useful tool that I wish I had used sooner in my reselling journey because it's incredibly helpful. And they offer uh, discounted rates, sometimes better than eBay, which they already offer us discounted rates. So better than what they offer ain't bad. Okay, I got the best rate. Just wanted to check. So I'm gonna send this. Uh, where did my label go? <laughs> I am sending this priority mail and I'm gonna do it in this, again, the padded flat rate envelope. Let's see if I can get it in here. This, I didn't mention what it was, but I literally listed this last night. So this sold super quick. <clears throat> it is a, the brand Orvis, a pullover, quarter zip, sweater. I only listed it, well, I always run a sale in my store, so let's let's have that into perspective. I think I listed it for like 50. Somebody offered me 25 this morning and I accepted. Um, so I run stuff at 50, uh, or <laughs> I listed it at 50, but I run sales in my store on eBay all the time. So I always usually have about a 38% off sale. So it was like 50 minus 30%, but then they sent me an offer and that's totally fine and I accepted. Oh yeah, new bin. Okay, next is a brand, I don't even know what this is. BSR by Sammy Ryan. I'm guessing this is like an influencer or something. There's some sweatpants with a smiley face on that. They're kind of cute. If I was in my 20s, yeah, I'd probably wear them. But not for me anymore. Um, this is going to Colorado and we're gonna ship it first class mail. It is 14 ounces. So in terms of brands and stuff, like I don't say, for me, I'm not like, this brand goes on eBay, this brand goes on Poshmark. Like I don't have, I don't think like that. I put stuff everywhere and I learned from my years of working in retail is to never prejudge shoppers or where they are and how much they'll spend. So because I use a cross-listing service, you know, uh, or cross-listing tool, it's so easy to cross-list everywhere that it doesn't make sense for me to just not hit the Poshmark button or the eBay button or what, excuse me, or what have you. I think I'm gonna need my inhaler again and this is like so frustrating and disappointing because I thought I had retired it for the season. <laughs> but, I, you know, I'm wrong because arguably cold and flu season is here. <clears throat> But yeah, irritating. <laughs> okay, next I have a bra, another walk hole item. And this sold for, is new at tag, sold for $26. Love selling bras. They have a great sell through rate. Well, some do. Uh, maybe I've had this one a little bit longer than I should have. And I'll be honest with you, I have. I've had it since March. But there are some bras that sell really well and really quickly. And I will say for me, that's usually sports bras. Okay, label. Okay, next is an auction item. This is a Monique Lulier dress, beaded. It's super heavy, Oof, super heavy. Um, I ran a bunch of auctions, so this one did not sell for a lot, but it is flawed, I'm pretty sure. And it sold for $6.99. So yeah, there you go, guys. Um, I actually think I might put it in a poly mailer and then put it in the flat rate envelope because I think the poly mailer is actually gonna <clears throat> protect it kind of nicely in here. Right there. And then put this here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. This is going off to New Jersey. This is here. That. And just cramped my hand. You know when you grab something too fast? Does that ever happen to you if you grab something too fast? Okay, go back to orders. 
And as much as I can remember, I always put the thank you sticker on here, but sometimes I forget. Um, where am I gonna put this? Okay, that'll work. Next, I think this is the aloe sweater. <clears throat> this is the brand Aloe, A-L-O. It is an athletic wear brand. Oh, come on, this bag needs to be retired. Oh. So some of our bags, oh my gosh. It is torn where the Ziploc part goes. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm retiring this bag. I'm not gonna put it back into rotation. Aloe is one of those brands, <clears throat> excuse me, that I think just gets private labeled a bunch. I think you can go down to like the garment district in Los Angeles and you can find aloe items. They just won't say aloe on them and then you can just private label them and sell them. That's what I remember somebody telling me once. So yeah, if you wanna start an activewear brand, go there print but they I don't know stuff is nice they sell it at Nordstrom so it's it's not cheap it's not a cheap brand necessarily all right next where did these sell oh this is a Poshmark one that just came in okay my sales Poshmark refresh and oh there's two of them yeah okay so next is oh my god it's aloe again. <laughs> this is a pair of aloe leggings and got my poly mailer. And here I didn't print the label out yet because I had, <clears throat> I saw it come in. So I just grabbed the item real quick and I was like, I will just print it when I'm here with you guys. This, uh, these leggings I've had since March. They did sell for $49 on Poshmark. And somebody calling me. Decline. Okay, uh, $49 for Posh, and we will print the label. Um, where are you? Download. Download. <sighs> I love this color of pink, the baby pink. Actually, I'm kind of a sucker for pink in general. I don't know about you guys, but yeah pink is like pink purple and black those are my favorites it's not necessarily the colors i wear all the time i don't know about you guys like i don't necessarily wear my favorite color but when i see it i'm always like oh you're pretty okay next i have a pair of ugg boots and these sold for this is a really good deal listen if you want ugg boots i'm serious if you made it to the end of this video but if you want ugg boots check out my store these sold for they're new with new in box $72 and let's print the label <clears throat> print um only the first page please our page these sold for 72 oh I'll show you what they look like that's what I was going to show you so this is like the slipper style so oh, they're attached but they're the short ones. They're really cute. But I've got, a, I don't know, probably about 20 pairs of Uggs left in my store. So if you want Uggs, go check it out. I need to grab a box that I think might be under you. Be right back. Okay, I think this big box might fit this. But let's see. I don't know. Yeah. I might end up actually just putting it in a large poly mailer because the shoe box is too small. So let me grab poly. So I have these larger polys. Not sure of the size on this. I think it might be 15 by 19. And oof, it's just gonna perfectly fit. Ta-da! There we go. All right. Take that off there. And seal that. And then I'm gonna add probably some tape. Loud noise. Another one. Here we go again. Last one. Okay, there we go. 
I'm gonna add our label, and then I am gonna add a Priority Mail sticker on here. So you can get these free from the post office, and you can put them on your Priority Mail packages that don't, that maybe aren't in USPS boxes that say Priority. And it just lets your post office know that they have one. Okay, let's do our Kitazen and Crazy sales. I literally have like five minutes, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this video. <sighs> Kitazen, so we're gonna ship this using Pirate Ship. And I'm gonna go into Kitazen, copy down the buyer's address, paste it into, what's it called? Pirate Ship, put in the dimensions, and the weight. Okay, get weights. Oh my gosh, so fast. It's gonna be three dollars and eighty-eight cents to send. I think this item I've had not that long. I label. And it sold for twenty-five dollars. It sorry, it was a Hannah Anderson kids like little romper thingy. I would show you, but I'm trying to just move quick, you know? Then we just need to copy our tracking information and paste it into, uh, to Kittas in here. And this just lets the buyer know that we sent it off. Same sort of process with Tracy. So, this is a Marquesa Note. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Dress, I'm gonna put it in one of our canvas bags <clears throat> or faux canvas bags that we get from the real real which I reuse <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna copy let's see, confirm sale confirm done and I'm gonna ship this oh come on you know when like you're trying to go fast and so the world works slower for you that's happening right now okay we're gonna ship this priority mail again. And I think, yeah. I'm gonna put it in the bubble mailer because it was a big sale. Did I tell you? 260 bucks, yeah. Priority padded flat rate envelope, get rates. And then we're just gonna take this, put it in here. Put in our Weight. There we go. Get weight. And it is just going to be a fixed rate. All of the padded flat rate or flat rate items are a one rate by label. So it's going to be $8.30. I do get a discount because I used Pirate Ship. Print. Then again, we're going to copy our tracking information, provide that for our buyer. Is being sent at USPS. Bam. And last but not least, oh my gosh, last one, guys. This is a Mac Studio jacket. I think it's new with tags. Sold on Tradesy, so if you, in case you thought, thought that wouldn't sell on Tradesy, it does. If you didn't think that brand would. Okay, um, gonna use Pirate Ship again. And I think I'm going to probably do the padded flat rate envelope again. Cause that's gonna fit this the best. Get rates, no thank you. Again, $8.30. Print label, print label. Click, click, click. Copy tracking information, paste it. Oh my gosh, you guys, like literally with like seven minutes to spare, before my new person gets here to start their shift. And I still have to grab some stuff for them to photograph today. I think I'm gonna have a couple minutes to do that, write down my video recording station. And I filmed the whole video with you guys, which I'm so excited. I think I got everything. So thank you. Thanks so much for hanging out. It's been so much fun as usual, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.